G'day, g'day guys, welcome to the channel. I am going to start this video by saying I am, this is not my idea. This is something that I saw, believe it or not, on TikTok. I've seen it so many times and I've seen it on Andrea Nelson Art Channel. She is a watercolor, I, okay. I've been trying to get better with watercoloring, as in my actual paintings, etc. So I, I sort of, I watch her. She has a lot of basic tech. I watch a lot of artists, and it's great when you can get an idea and you can develop your skill in a different area. This is something that she's done on her channel, and I loved it. And I was like, one day I'm going to do that on a scrapbooking layout. And today is that day. This was my last piece of my Vicky Booten Foundations cardstock. So I decided today's the day. So stick with me. This is not about the scrapbooking layout as much as it's about creating the background. And I wanted to show you and let you know how this actually was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I would love to do this again on something. But, yeah, I just, it, it's awesome. So, you can see what I did. I just put a rainbow wash down the back of the, like, down the whole page. And it doesn't have to be blended beautifully. It doesn't have to, all of that doesn't matter in the end. I've then pulled out some circles. I used my Creative Memories Circle um, cutting system because I could just trace that easily. And it gave me some perfect circles and it was easy. But you could trace a cup, you could trace a, a bottle of something, a cup, a, a plate, a um, your tape roll, your washi tape roll, all of that sort of thing. Now what I'm essentially doing is I am painting circles, but I'm not ever actually painting a circle. I know, stick with me. It is actually genius. And to be honest, Andrea is the only person that I've seen do this. She doesn't even know I exist, but I will put her link in my description below in case you want to go and check out her stuff. She's not a scrapbooker. She does sell her own art and this idea I got solely from her. Now, as you can see, I went through the entire layout colored it all with a rainbow wash this is all watercolors these are cheap watercolors they're from Montmartre they're nothing special they I did notice that it started to peel my paper a little bit so I think if I try this again I will definitely use my watercolor paper instead of my um instead of just like the Vicky Booten foundations paper so Essentially what you do is you do a wash down the back and then I drew some circles. Then I picked another colour. So I just picked the darkest blue that we have in my palette. And you start off with a light wash of that blue. So you start off with a lighter colour. And then you paint around all the circles. So what Andrea says to do is don't paint in the circles. Don't paint the circles. You paint everything except the circles. And then you go through and you put another bunch of circles down. And then you go back with a slightly stronger color. And you go on top of that and again you don't paint the circles so each time that you put the circles down you're actually putting the circle behind so you're drawing the circles behind that lot of circles every time so i probably i did make a mistake there i painted in a circle um and this one here i did it again like it's actually harder than you think to not paint in the circles so it was one of those things it's all one dimension it's all one level there's no raised up bits there's no texture but yet when you look at it it looks three-dimensional it is so cool 
it is something that if you just want to have a play with some mixed media, get your kids watercolor paints out, get some cardstock and give it a go. It is so much fun. Now, the photos that I'm scrapbooking, I actually, my printer had a bit of a moment and I've printed the same photos twice. So I end up putting all four of them on here because I don't like throwing out my kids photos and you can see there I actually I actually um sorry I just have to do that and can you see how each layer that I do I get, get darker and darker with my indigo blue that's and that's the secret because you're creating the shadow behind the bubble and each bubble it gets darker and darker and darker till you get to the darkest color which is this one and I did go down a brush size purely so I could get my lines nice and sharp it was really difficult for me and if you've been here for five minutes you will know how much I love to outline things I was so tempted to go through and outline these it was just but I stopped myself because that's not what this is about. This isn't about the circles. This is about not painting the circles to create the circles. It's so cool. So I absolutely adore how this turned out. I really, really do. I hope you give it a try. I do finish the layout, but I do want you to know that it was actually, it was easier. It was easy to create because you're not ever actually painting a circle but yeah it, it takes a little bit of practice to get your brain around it but anyway so then I needed to create a section where I could quite easily put my title and make it pop so I decided that I was going to do smaller bubbles and I was going to give this a bit of a try not necessarily the same style as what I just did but yeah just a rainbow wash of bubbles I think it turns out good in the end um I love this layout I really really do I think it's amazing it's a great technique to have if you don't have a lot of supplies for scrapbooking but you want to create something that looks really cool it doesn't have to be a rainbow in the background you could do a gradient from yellow to red you could do a gradient from um you could do a pattern on the background. You could do stamping on the background and then do your painting over the top of that so that each of your bubbles has pattern in it. You know, you could do something like that. It, my card was curling, by the way, in case you're wondering why I was doing that. There, my paint, that's my paint palette, guys. That is probably the largest range of watercolor paints that I have. It's a Montmartre double layer watercolor set for me it's all I need at this point I, I am trying to get better with my watercoloring and my blending and all that sort of thing so it's these little techniques that you can do that will improve um, it'll improve the way that you do your watercoloring and it's a different way to incorporate um mixed media on your layouts it's it's a good way to have mixed media and not necessarily not necessarily have lots of layers and lots of techniques this one is just super super simple so you really can do you really can do this one now this is where i got to go around my circles because it was i just needed to fill in the circles so I wanted to, I, I started off with my Posca paint pens and then realized, nah, that's not working. So I pulled out my Uni Signo Broad pen in white and because it's a pigment ink, it's very bright and it stands out and it's fantastic. Catches, you've got to make sure that you do not run your finger in it because it will spread and make a big mess. So this is just giving me a base plate that I can sit my title on so that it's going to look different to the background and stand out. But I wanted it to be 
the I wanted it to actually be the same bubbles that is on the layout so it finishes up pretty quickly from here guys it's not hard um, um, where do I go now does it let me see I'm just having a quick look yeah I did go around the outside I was wondering if I went around the outside edges but I did now that's just so that it pops see how it, it's separate it's still bubbles but we all do bubbles when kids are you know we have our photos of kids in their bubble bath but this is something a little bit different you're not trying to create white bubbles you've got bubbles you've got um you can see how it all works together your photos going over the top of this art as well fyi you're going to cover up bits that aren't probably perfect but that's okay that's why we scrapbook that happens with scrapbooking so but you're able to keep this art now in your album which is fantastic so this i hope you give this a try this is it's awesome it makes you feel really good and i love it so let me see i did actually i did take a little bit to get this to sit right so that i wasn't covering up all of my bubbles which was sort of difficult but i love it let me know what you think please leave me a comment and um sorry taylor's messaging me um yeah so i ended up i looked i switched the camera off and i looked and looked and looked to see if i could find some stickers or a title or a simple title but I couldn't find one and I then decided I'm just going to write it. I'll just write it. It's all mixed media on this layout, so why not? And this is this makes it even more doable for you because all you need is a couple of colors. Now, did you see big mistake right there? Don't worry, I showed you how to do it. I showed you how to fix it. I just got a pipette and lifted the paint back off the paper. I didn't touch it. If you try and clean it up while it's wet like that, it won't work so just let it dry my Posca paint pen was having a bit of a flow issue I've had these pens for quite a while some of these pens so yeah they were having a moment I was considering going around all the circles with my white paint and then I stopped myself again and said no that's not what this is about it's about the process of how to create this and once I put the white border on there I love it absolutely love it so don't forget in the description below you will have the products that I used you will have a link to Andrea's um, she actually does have a YouTube channel as well so I will tag that below as well so you can click on that link and in case you don't use um, TikTok she does have a YouTube channel so you can check out how she does things and she breaks it down she probably words it a little bit better than me but as she says how to paint circles without actually painting a circle it's pretty cool so there you go guys I've got all the links in the description below I have got you can see there it's not perfect and there was a sequence not connected and yeah so links in the description below Instagram Facebook and I will also have my buy me a coffee link in the description if you'd like to support the channel and that is about it done guys thank you so much for watching I'll be back tomorrow with another video thanks for that bye for now